Hi everyone, John Martinson here, founder of RoboLinux. You can call me Robo. Everyone else does. So what's this new 10.8 version all about? Well, as you know, Windows 7 expired on January 14th, 2020. But that's not a problem because the RoboLinux 10.8 versions offered the user an optional one-click fully built Windows 7 and 10 size images which Stealth VM converts instantly on the fly, only requiring the user to enter their Windows keys. This is a radical time-saving approach for those users who are too busy or cannot handle the complexity of cloning their existing Windows partitions with our RoboLinux C drive to VM cloning tool. RoboLinux has uh, private servers that you can download the Windows 7 10 gigabyte and 13 gigabyte files for the Windows 7 and Windows 10, if you so desire. RoboLinux has discontinued its LXDE and GNOME versions, but has optimized its Cinnamon, Mate3D, and XFCE operating systems, which include a new kernel, and as you can see, a brand new wallpaper, plus over 100 security and application updates. The live RoboLinux Cinnamon version 10.8 no longer requires the live username login to get to the installer or the live version, which our users had issues figuring out. All current RoboLinux 10.7 users can upgrade to version 10.8 in just one click by using the built-in RoboLinux auto upgrade button from the main menu like this. Just go up to administration and go to the top, click on auto upgrade RoboLinux 64. As you can see, I've already installed Windows 7 in a virtual machine and Windows 10. Now how that is done is when you've downloaded your Windows 7 or 10 or you've built your PC.phd file by using the cloning tool, you simply go into Downloads and put it in here and then you go over to your main menu, go to Stealth VM and assuming that you've already installed it by clicking on number one, that's installing the BZ2 RoboLinux Stealth VM installer, you now are ready to install Windows 7 or 10 or XP. And so in this particular case, let's go ahead and just say we're going to install a Windows 7 64-bit cloned partition, which is now a PC.VHD file. Okay. Now, at that point, you're going to automatically see it converting, and it's going to create it. And at that point, you'll also see it sitting in your virtual box over here like this. And I've got 7 and 10, okay, just like that. And if you want to, you can create a nice little icon. And uh, we've got a video tutorial to show you how to do that. So that's how it works. And um, it's very simple, and it takes all the difficulty out of it. I'd like to just mention to you that um, if you go to the RoboLinux website, you'll see that me and my family are in a lot of trouble. Um, we, I lost my job on November 13th, 2019 due to budgetary cuts. It was a Fortune 500. And um, it's getting quite serious. And we'd ask you to just, if you can afford anything, please help us survive. Um, otherwise, I think um, I'm, I'm pretty sure uh, there's just no way I'm going to make it. And the RoboLinux servers will go down and I'll go dark and I'll probably end up well, you don't want to know what's going to happen. So, um, so you just click here. You're going to find this on our contact page or install page. Um, you know, I am trying not to put it on too many pages, but um, you know, I'm, we're in dire need. And um, you just click this here, and it goes to the GoFundMe web page, and and you can help us. And um, so. Thank you very much for watching this uh, RoboLinux video, and may Yahweh bless you and yours.